Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm in the van and I just thought, do you know what? I'm going to put a video on, uh, a little bonus extra one this week and talk about England. You know, it's International Week at, uh, coming up and I just think to myself, you know, in the past we've been annoyed that this has come round. We don't get to see Premier League football. Uh, you don't get to see Match of the Day. And yet, actually, I'm really excited about England. I think that the euphoria of the World Cup's been great. I think that we could have done better than what we did, particularly against Croatia when Modric was running the show. We could have, you know, put uh, things in plan to, or things in place, sorry, I should say, to stop him. And of course, the wide areas where they were hurting us, we should have changed from a 3-5-2 to a different formation, doubled up on the wing, stopped the crosses coming into the box. Uh, it was just inviting trouble. So we have to learn, but Southgate, does he make out he's a tactical genius? No. Has he raised the nation? Yes. Has he raised the players? Yes. And what I love is that he stood by his policy of playing young players. Gone are the, the regulars that thought they could, you know, maybe just turn up and play or be in the squad, you know, without naming names. But, you know, the obvious ones, for example, that you just think to yourself, well, you're guaranteed a place because, no, you know, oh, one day these young players will get a chance. Well, these young players are getting a chance now. You look at the squad, you look at Gomez, I think he's going to be a fantastic player. Play right back, centre back, Stones can be our, our PK for years to come. And you've got other players that are showing a real desire and a real passion for playing for England, as well as being able to play in a system that suits them. One of the players I identified, if you've been following my videos on Pep's Disciple, uh, Nathaniel Shalaba, I called it two, three weeks ago on here. Nathaniel Shalaba, and he's now in the squad. I am proud of that fact, but I saw him at St Mary's run the show from that defensive midfield position. Good range of passing, good energy, good tempo, and could get around the pitch and press people. I'm really excited by it. Phil Foden, don't be annoyed and depressed that Phil Foden is in the England under-21s. As a nation, we look down at people, oh, he's only in the under-21s. There's no rush for him. We've got good players in the middle of the park that can play. And at this time, if Foden was to go along, would he be able to play? Would he get in front of Shalaba? Would he get in front of um, um, players that are already established in that centre of midfield like Deli Alley? Let's put him in the under-21s. Let him play 90 minutes. Let him play another five, six games for the under-21s. And now we've got a process where players and a pathway can come through. I'm excited by it. I'm just dropping this video into you now. And then what I'm going to do is further later on in the week, get the tactics balled out, go through some formations and ideas for us. I'm excited. Hope you are too. Come on, England.